No showers crossing parts of the area late this afternoon. They've been most persistent across parts of Allegheny County, including the city of Pittsburgh, while other locations, some of the suburbs, haven't seen much flying in the last couple of hours. You can see Viper radar still showing the center of that light snow shower across the city of Pittsburgh and a good, good chunk of Allegheny County. Otherwise, things have scattered out, and I do think what's left of that moisture will uh, tend to fall apart in the next hour or two, and we'll head into a lull in the activity for just about everyone <clears throat> for a few hours early tonight. Temperatures right now, 31 in Charleroi, 32 in Cabot, and 34 in Catania Grace Christian School. Live picture from Sewickley Academy. A few flakes in the air there, but nothing has accumulated. The pavement is wet. The grass has not yet to be coated there. Different story in the city, as I mentioned, where it's been a little bit more persistent last couple three hours you can see a coating of snow over top of the bed outside of the Mazeroski statue on the North Shore. Current temperature is 31 degrees and east northeast wind coming in at 10 miles an hour and as we head down through tonight not much movement in temperatures they'll hold pretty steady low 30s to upper 20s. We'll get a lull in the activity again mid to late evening and then things get going again overnight tonight middle of the night three four o'clock in the morning that'll carry us through tomorrow morning with snow showers across the area. Here's Futurecast. We'll take you hour by hour. You can see 8 o'clock this evening. Not much cooking across the area. <clears throat> Same at 11 o'clock tonight. Then in the middle of the night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, the coverage of the snow showers increases once again. Into the rush hour tomorrow morning, plan on a snowy morning commute and likely some school delays at the very least. And then through the afternoon, the snow showers will be tapering off and ending all together. Here's what I expect in terms of Accumulations moving forward three to four inches. A lot of this coming overnight and tomorrow morning, primarily before about 9 a.m. Uh, three to four inches again covers most of the area. <clears throat> as you get further north, a little less as you approach the I-80 quarter, maybe an inch at most, while higher amounts over in the Laurel Highlands as a result of the winter storm warning in effect there. You can see things becoming more hodgepodge in the coverage with the loss of the energy that stirred things up this afternoon and again what's left will <clears throat> begin to fall apart before the next wave moves through the area late tonight and the first half to three quarters of the day tomorrow as the energy for the most part consolidates offshore it'll pull the moisture away and we'll get left behind with just a fair amount of clouds but a northerly flow will keep chilly temperatures in place through the latter parts of the week 28 tonight cloudy with snow showers becoming widespread again overnight then tomorrow, the high temperature 36 with snow showers in the morning and midday ending in the afternoon. The extended forecast on Thursday, 40 degrees. Same on Friday with increasing sunshine right through the weekend with increasing temperatures near 46 by Sunday. Susan.